Picking up the best Christmas gift ever. The best possible Christmas present is here. The R7. Yeah, it arrived just in time before Christmas and now it's time to open it because I already picked this up like last week. And I have been waiting, just waiting for the perfect time to open it up with you guys so that you guys can see it too. Now it's time to find out what's inside of this. And finally, finally, I get my hands onto my new camera. Okay, so here we go. Let's see now, open it up. Oh. Manuals and chargers and all these batteries, cables and stuff. This is the EF RF adapter that comes with the box. And here is the camera. Look at that. There it is. Okay, let's, let's clean up the desk a bit. There we go. Wow. It is a beautiful, beautiful camera. Oh man, look at that. This one looks absolutely beautiful. It's just about the same size as the ADD. There we go. Now it's got the mount. Just gonna get a lens for it. Just gonna roll in the 85 in front of it for now. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Okay, now let's go over a little bit of that. Why did I choose to buy the R7? The first thing, of course, is the fact that it's APS-C sensor camera. So it's a crop frame camera. I'm not gonna go into too much details, but I have been using APS-C sensor cameras for a good part of 20 years now, almost exclusively. I know exactly what to expect when I throw a certain lens on the camera. The second reason, of course, was the price, because the R7 with this mount costs about $1,600, which is really ridiculously cheap when you consider how much amazing specs this little camera packs into this body. Because when you think about it, $1,600 for a mirrorless camera with a 32.5 megapixel sensor and cropless 4K video at 60 frames per second with the fantastic Canon dual pixel autofocus and the IBIS in-body stabilization. So come on, yes please, thank you, I'm out. Those specs alone are just fantastic for this price point at $1,600. This is a beast. And the third reason I decided to go with the R7 is the log profile. This baby packs in the 10-bit C-log and I will be taking the full advantage of that in my future videos because this one, this one will be the main driver for all the videos and all the photos that I will be taking from now on. So if you're starting out with photography or making videos, I believe that this is the way that you should go because of the price point, $1,600, that's not, that's not gonna break the bank. For a new camera that packs all these features and it has the same autofocus as the R3, which is a full-time professional camera. And if you're looking more into photography, with the electronic shutter, this takes 30 frames per second. And with the mechanical, shutter it takes 15 frames per second so yeah or if you're looking for a solid backup camera like say for your R6 Mark II or R6 this is a good one to go with because like I mentioned this is an APS-C sensor camera so you will get more range out of your lenses like the 70 to 200 with this you will get a lot closer to the action with a crop sensor camera than with a full frame okay that's it for me today I'm gonna go take some photos now <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas uh, to everybody um, yeah Overwhelmed. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, see you guys in the next vid. Peace.